good to see you safe, Inquisitor. But we've got trouble ahead. If you're on edge, I should alert the entire Inquisition. Or increase my hazard pay. That's an option. <laughs> Are things that bad? Crestwood was the site of a flood ten years ago during the Blight. It's not the only rift in the area, but after it appeared, corpses started walking out of the lake. You'll have to fight through them to get to the cave where Sir Hawk's Grey Warden friend is hiding. More walking corpses. At least they won't be a surprise. I nearly stepped on one in the grass the other night, before it started moaning. Maybe someone in Crestwood can tell you how to get to the rift in the lake. Maker knows they'll want help. Good luck. And please be safe. The Grey Wardens thank you for your aid, Inquisitor. What are you doing in Crestwood? Hunting one of our own. We have orders to capture Sir Alistair of Ferelden on site. The man's slippery as an eel. We've been chasing him for weeks. What have you been told about this rogue warden? Warden Commander Clarell ordered his capture. I can say no more than that. I hope Alistair comes quietly. I'd not fight the man who helped kill that many Darkspawn. Will you stay to fight the undead here? My orders forbid it. Crestwood was only a detour. Is that all the aid we can offer these people? If the Inquisition can help, I beg you to do what you can. The villagers have already lost too many. Farewell. Farewell. Did you see how the Grey Warden saved me from those corpses? They're amazing. I'm going to see if they're looking for recruits. You want to join the Grey Wardens now? Oh, Maker. You're the Inquisitor. Um, but yes. The Wardens are heroes. They saved me from those demons, Your Worship. With all that's happening, I'd like to help people the same way. <laughs> By joining the Grey Wardens. You can't think of something less... lethal. Grey Warden or no, the world needs more people with your courage. Find another way to help people. The Wardens have problems of their own right now. Yes, Your Worship. I'm sure there's something else I can do to help. Maker, if something happens... Are you looking for someone named Judith? Oh, was I speaking out loud? Judith lives outside the village. I asked her to hide here when the undead came, but she wouldn't hear it. Why wouldn't she hide where it's safer? Likes her space, she says. I told Judith my house was big enough. Me and the boy could sleep in the barn if she wanted room. She turned me down. Good day to you. I am Sister Vaughan. Does the mayor finally plan to drain the lake? I must find someone to retrieve the remains of those lost there. You want to exhume the corpses at the bottom of the lake? They were the Maker's children. Their earthly bodies deserve better than abandonment in a mire. A funeral service will help put living minds at ease. What did you mean by finally drain the lake? The undead returned only after the light in the lake appeared. If we want to stop them, we must investigate. But the Mayor sent no one at all. I fear he thinks that emptying the waters would unleash even more monsters on us. Have I interrupted a funeral service? We lost many friends in the first attack. <laughs> there will be endless time to mourn. The undead are appearing because of a rift in the Fade. How can I get to it? The light in the lake? It's coming from the caves below Old Crestwood. Darkspawn flooded it ten years ago during the Blight. Wiped out the village, killing the refugees we took in. I saw a dam. If we use it to drain the lake, I can get to that Fade Rift. Drain the... There must be some other way. Your people are frightened, and they're tired. Let us help. You'd have to evict the bandits in the old fort to use the dam. I can't ask you to risk your life. You're risking the village's safety if you spurn my help. Or is someone else coming? But... No, they aren't. 
This key unlocks the gate to the dam controls past the fort. The rift must be in the caves under old Crestwood. But, Inquisitor, I would not linger there. Tell me about your village. It's seen happier days. We farm what we can, trade with the merchants who travel the King's Road. We only want peace, Your Worship. It's all we've ever wanted. I'm surprised a town as small as Crestwood outlasted the Blight. It was a close thing. The Darkspawn followed a band of refugees running from the Blight. Some of the refugees were... they were very ill. But we took them in. They perished when the Darkspawn flooded old Crestwood. How did Darkspawn manage that? They found the dam's controls, wrecked them. All I remember is the refugees and villagers screaming as they drowned. And now, they return to us. What can you tell me about the bandits camped in the fort? The highwaymen, thugs and thieves. They make a living raiding caravans on the King's Road. When the dead rose from the lake, the bandits killed the old gamekeeper of the fort and took it for themselves. We could have saved people if we'd been able to hide there instead of in our homes. Until later. Of course. Just us. I brought the Inquisitor. Wait. You have a Grey Warden with you. Warden Blackwall. You're Blackwall? Uh, Duncan, my mentor, he spoke of you. Duncan? Of course. Good man. I'm Alistair. It's an honor to meet all of you. I wish it was someplace nicer. Are you the Alistair who fought the Archdemon with the hero of Ferelden? I need to change my name. Yes, that was me. War, betrayal, darkspawn, all lots of fun. And made for excellent stories, I'm sure. Nobody cares about that anymore. I answer to Warden Commander Clarell now. Like everyone else. I'll take all the help I can get. I know the Wardens have troubles of their own. I wonder, though, might those troubles have anything to do with Corypheus? When Hawk killed Corypheus, the Wardens thought the matter resolved. But Archdemons don't die from simple injury. I feared Corypheus might have the same power, so I... I started to investigate. I found hints, but no proof. And then, not long after, every Warden in Orlais began to hear the calling. You never told me. It was a secret. A very dangerous one. I try to actually keep a few of my oaths to the Wardens. You think Corypheus is using this calling to control the Grey Wardens? Not precisely. When a Warden hears the calling, it means the corruption inside us will soon kill him. And every Grey Warden in Orlais is hearing that right now. They think they're dying. Yes, I think Corypheus caused this somehow. If all the Wardens die, who will stop the next Blight? That's what has them so terrified. Thanks to the calling, Corypheus has them scared. And they're playing right into his hands. Is the calling they're hearing real? Or is Corypheus mimicking it somehow? I have no idea. Before all this, I'd barely heard of Corypheus. I didn't even know he was supposed to be a magister until I started digging around. But right now, all that matters is the Wardens are acting like they're going to die. How can Corypheus make all these Wardens hear the calling? I have no idea. I suppose it's part of what he is. Corypheus is tied to the Blight, and not just a product of it like most Darkspawn. Wardens are connected to the Darkspawn too. That's how he seems able to control Wardens who get too close to him. And that's likely what he's doing here as well. Somehow. You said all the Wardens are hearing the calling. Does that include you? And also you, Blackwall? 
Unfortunately, yes. When I'm talking or fighting, I can almost ignore it. But whenever things are quiet, I can hear it. It's like a song you can't get out of your head. Damned annoying, frankly. I do not fear the calling. And worrying about it only gives it power. Anything Corypheus does will only strengthen my resolve. So the Wardens think they're dying and have stopped thinking clearly. That won't go well. I saw what a blight did to Ferelden. If Wardens hadn't stopped it, there'd be no more Thedas. Warden Commander Clarell proposed some drastic things, blood magic and such, to prevent further blights before we die. I protested, maybe too loudly, and Clarell sent guards and, well, here I am. Wardens were gathering here in the Western Approach. It's an old Tevinter ritual tower. I'm going to investigate. I could use some help. Sending her out without a partner. Are you saying one of our spies is compromised? Yes, Inquisitor. Miller was captured in Valshavan. She was after valuable information. Perhaps arrangements could be made to bring her back. Ah, oh, piss. We're, uh, just catching up with each other after an assignment. That part's fine. Just don't lock me out of my own keep. No, Inquisitor. It won't happen again. I swear it. Nose a little brown, Reeve. Quiet, you. Welcome to my humble shop. Let me know if I can assist you at all, my lord. I thought all the merchants in the area left when the undead came. You've come to vanquish them, have you not? I'm only too happy to offer you my best rates to speed your noble efforts onwards. Some of your wares are a little expensive for a farming village. Many lords and ladies pass through here on their way to proper cities. You'd be surprised what they sometimes forget. Wig powder, mirrors, plate armor. Sadly, less refined goods take up the bulk of my trade. Good day to you. Farewell. My name is Charter. Leleana's eyes and ears, especially in this place. I'll have some information for you once my man Butcher finds us. He's running late. Did Sister Nightingale tell you why she wanted agents here? We lie on the main road between Denerim and Val Royo. Couriers stop here all the time. For what they're paid, some have surprisingly loose tongues. When's this spy named Butcher supposed to arrive? Half hour ago, by the south gate. I hope he's only delayed. Butcher's last message swore he had secrets for us worth ten times his weight in gold. What's happening in Crestwood? The roads are nearly deserted. Too many undead keep rising from the lake. I should be going. Farewell. <laughs> what in? <gasps> Don't mind us. Just passing by. The Inquisitor? We didn't know you were here, sir. Please don't tell anyone. How did you get past the guards? There weren't any when we got here. We just heard you killed the bandits, Your Worship. We didn't know you were moving in, we promise. You won't tell people we were here, will you? I see you couldn't resist the thrill of a decrepit pub. There's nowhere else, sir. Everyone is crammed into the village. Lonnie's parents would have a fit if they saw us. <sighs> we'll have to wait an hour to go back. Your father will still be up. I knew this was a mistake. We could try the caves. You hate spiders. You find somewhere next time. The mayor said Darkspawn destroyed these controls ten years ago. Who repaired them? Good point. Ask the mayor. I order you to tell me why nothing here heeds my commands. It's a spirit, but what's it doing? Silence. Let the other one talk. Is 
it harmless, Cassandra? Or could it turn into a demon? There's always a chance. Harmless spirits do not always remain so. Nonsense! I am in control of my fate! I was not addressing... <sighs> Are you a spirit or a demon? Demon? Those dogs who would suck this world dry. I am called to higher things. What is a spirit like you called to do? I lead armies, kingdoms, lords. I am Imperial. I am Command. What of you? I felt your coming. Is there something alike in us? All you sensed was the anchor on my hand. Then you are less than I thought, but feel no shame. Some must follow those who lead. What's so distressing about the real world? It ignores me. I order the rocks to part, but they do not. I bid the sky draw close, and it stays still. I don't know how you mortals stand it. Why haven't you gone back to the Fade? I will not be denied. I refuse to leave until something obeys my orders. Then I feel compelled to help you. I pledge myself to your service. Excellent. I have only one command. A creature made of rage had the gall to chase me across the lake. Destroy it in my name and be rewarded. Killing a demon is worthy of us at least. Your house in Old Crestwood is still standing. It is? There's not much inside. There wouldn't be. I... Uh, I was cleaning the place when the waters... When the flood... I didn't ever want to think of that place again. I have nothing more to say. Please. I've already found the remains of the people who died in Old Crestwood. That's it, Andraste. I didn't imagine you'd look yourself. Thank you for your thoughtfulness. It is all too rare these days. I will prepare the bodies for cremation. The rage demon in the caves is dead, as you commanded. I had no doubts. Now that my sovereignty has been respected, I can depart this unchanging nightmare. Your reward. Use it well. Seriously, can't believe that worked. A letter of confession from the mayor. It says he was the one who flooded Old Crestwood ten years ago, to stop the blight from spreading. I knew he was nervous about more than the undead. It's monstrous, but if it stopped the blight from wiping out the entire village... What a sad mess. Will the Inquisition bring him in, 